What is going on you guys and welcome back to another video. 2022 is here and I think this is gonna be a really exciting year for my LumaFusion tutorials and LumaFusion's new features to come. Now let's kick this off with our first transition tutorial of the year which is going to be an exposure blur exposure exposure blur and exposure blur transition yes nailed it so without further ado let's head over to the ipad and create this super simple super clean and professional transition hmm? Hey? <laughs> Okay, so this transition works best if we have some sky clips or clips which includes a sky. So the brighter the sky is, the easier and better the transition will look. But for this example, I'm gonna use just some average drone shots from Florida here and we're gonna create a transition in between these two clips. Now for this example, I'm also gonna use two cuts with 10 frames on each. So the longer the cut is or the more frames each cut has, the slower the transition will be. Now you can also do this without making any cuts to your clips by relying on the keyframing, but to make it easier for you to understand, we're gonna make some cuts. So two cuts of 10 frames each. So we have two clips, which includes 10 frames. So to begin with, we're gonna go to the first clip and into edit. Now this clip is already color corrected, uh, but if you don't see the original color preset or don't have any color correction to your image already, you can simply add an original color preset. Uh, you don't have to have the footage color corrected, but if you're gonna color correct your image, I recommend that you do this first before you make these additional two cuts. So once we're inside of edit, we're gonna make sure that we head over to color and effects and we apply the original color preset if we don't have it already and then go to the beginning and make a keyframe, then to the end and make a keyframe. And we're only gonna adjust the end keyframe because this is gonna be the midsection of the transition. So for this, we're gonna take the levels and we're gonna pull the highlights of the levels up towards the right side. And then we're also gonna take the brightness and pull up towards the right side so we make the image brighter. And now you can probably understand that the brighter the sky is, the better this transition will look. But we're gonna do some adjustments anyway and tweak it around to make it look awesome. So now that we adjusted everything on the last keyframe here by tweaking some settings, you can also go down to the RGB panel here and add some changes to the color if you want it to be a different color. You can also do this with the gamma and the hue if you want a specific color. So now that we adjusted the colors, we're gonna move over to the water droplet and we're gonna add a Gaussian 20. Here we're also gonna add two keyframes, one at the beginning and one at the end. Then we're gonna highlight the first keyframe, which is on the left-hand side, and make sure that we take the radius of the Gaussian 20 down to zero, because this is where the transition will start. And once this is done, we're gonna do the exact same thing to the next part of the transition, but here we're gonna do everything in reverse. So we're gonna go into Edit, over to Color and Effects, and make sure that we have an original color preset applied. Here we're also gonna make a keyframe at the beginning and also at the end, and then we're gonna make sure that we highlight the first keyframe, which is on the left-hand side, before we make our changes. We're also gonna do the exact same thing. We're gonna drag the levels up towards the right side to make it brighter, and we're also gonna adjust the brightness and scale that up. Now, if your image is not getting bright enough, you can also go up to the levels and add the midpoint of the levels and drag those towards the right side to make it even brighter. Now, like I said earlier, you can also change the colors by adjusting the RGB sliders or the hue. And now that the brightness is adjusted, we're gonna move over to the water droplet and add another Gaussian 20. Make a keyframe at the beginning and at the end, and here we will have the playhead at the last keyframe and take the radius of the Gaussian 20 down to zero because this is where the transition ends. Now once this is done, we can go out to the timeline and do a playback to see how it looks. 
Now to spice this up even more and to make it more professional, we're gonna add some light leaks or overlays. Now this depends on what type of light leaks and overlays you have and which type you, you want to have, but light rays and normal light leaks works the best in my opinion. Now there's so many out there and I believe I have someone free as well which you can check out on rubbishcavelogs.com. Now before we add the overlays, let's take a look at today's sponsor, which is Epidemic Sound. So if you're looking for sound effects for your videos, whether it's for lower thirds, pop-ups, cinematic videos, or gaming videos, Epidemic Sound has you covered with more than 90,000 sound effects of the highest quality. The browsing experience on their website is one of the best, it's so easy to search for the specific sound effects you need, and if you want more of the same type, you can click on the find similar button and the website will find everything which is similar to the one that you listen to. You might also need some music for your videos and this works in the same way. When you find a song that you like, you can click on find a similar to get all the similar songs listed. I find this extremely useful when I make my videos. If I find a song which I want to use as a background track for my tutorials, instead of struggling to find similar songs to match the first track, I click on find similar and I have multiple tracks that I can use in an instant. The price comes in at $15 a month, but you can try it for free for 30 days with the link in the description below. So now that you know where to find the best music and the music and sound effects that I use all the time, let's move back to the tutorial. Now, like I mentioned, we're gonna add some overlays, some light leaks to make this look better. Now, since this transition contains only 20 frames where each clip has 10 frames each, uh, we need to trim down the light leak. Now you can do this by speeding up the overlay or you can trim it down or you can do both. For this I'm just gonna make some cuts and add some cross dissolves to make it look better. So now that we apply the first overlay, we need to make sure that we set the blend mode to screen. Now once we have the blend mode to screen, we can take a look and we can already see that it looks a tiny bit better. Not the best overlay for this transition because it's barely visible. But what if we add another one? Because it's not said that using one overlay only will make it better, you might have to use two or three overlays to really get the look that you're after. So for this next one, we're gonna have something which is a little bit Bit bigger and fills the screen a little bit more. So now that we change this to screen, taking a look, it looks a whole lot better right away. Now let's take a look at the transition without the overlays first, and then let's take a look at the transition with the overlays. So if you ask me, adding light leaks or light rays or any sort of overlay to either a transition or just a change between scenes, uh, if you ask me, I think that is the easiest way to improve your videos to be twice as good because it creates the appealing of the video, the view visuals, the visuals, it's better. Yes, let me know down in the comment section below what you thought of this uh, tutorial, this transition and what type of transition that you want to see next. Or if you just want to say hello, comment down below, that would be highly appreciated. And also on the way down there, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. There's only like 26 of you which is viewing these videos which are subscribed. So that would be highly appreciated. If you, if you enjoy the content that you see here, just hit that subscribe button. Now with that said, that's the end of the first tutorial, the first transition tutorial of 2022. And I will catch you in the next one.